Do you? Yo, I was a headache. <laughs> no, it meant I'm bad. I was a headache. Do you know you were a headache? I realized it, that I was a superstar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I cried in front of her. Oh, no. She was like, I'm sorry, because she knew what was written in that letter. Yes, of course, before she handed it to you. Yeah. I can only imagine. I'm yeah. sorry, man. I can't imagine you doing anything else, my man. Yeah. I truly, truly can't imagine you doing anything else. King King David Studio Podcast. Uh, I'm with uh, uh, Chili M today. Uh, Oh, Daddy. Hey, I wonder you got this name, Daddy. Okay, now, yeah. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yes. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. I'm eh? so excited. You don't understand when Dino made the call. Yes. Um, I think she works in your office. Yes, I was like, yes, ah, yes. David. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just listening to your show the same day. Wow, listen well. to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I hope I I hope I don't sound too bad. You you're always no. very critical. <laughs> I, 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 I'm more clinical yes that's, than anything that's the and point. also anal <laughs> when it comes to radio i'm sorry <laughs> but uh yeah i'm loving what i'm hearing on oh, 2000 what has gotten you to be that that anal about it it's just your character it's not my character it's just the way it is yeah you know plain and simple it's just the way it is it's like we are put in a pedestal where we are supposed to tear each other apart and uh. get ratings and that's that's it. That's the game. And I'm not the guy to be very apologetic about it. Yeah. So, yeah. I speak my mind all the time. So, whenever it comes to radio, ah, you know, for me, I, I, I really take it personal, David. <laughs> you I take, take it, it personal. I take it flipping personal. I've always known that about yeah. you. you know? Yeah. Yeah. It, we, we met in, uh, at Metro 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. At least you got your dates right. No, 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 I do. Because I, I know when, when, I, when I started. Yeah. Do, do you remember when you started at Metro? Yeah, I do. I do. I worked with a guy called Gordon Mazibugo. Oh, yes. Who was gay. <laughs> and I think the guy <laughs> wanted change. me. And I think that's how I actually I broke into radio. But, um, yeah, I started hanging out with a whole bunch of guys that were doing radio at the time. And, yes. uh, you know, I was, the, I, was the, I was the guy to, I was the to go to guy. I, I like, always say this. I like how you say it. I, I was think, the I think, to go to guy. I think guy. he wanted me and that's how I ended up on radio. Yeah. No, he <laughs> did. He did. Like, he literally made moves on me. What you day? Know? What because day? at 12 midnight, there was yes. nothing much that we were doing. Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd play less music. Yeah. Uh, I mean, more music, more music than less talk. Oh, that's how it happened. And then I, I had a guy called, there was um, the station manager at the time. Yeah. Who caught me with Vusi Letualo's card to actually sign in his guest. And oh. then I would actually be practicing on the other side of the studio. Oh, okay. That's when they were at K2. Yes. Wow. So when they were at K2, um, the station manager, Remember, he yeah. found me in studio, busy, you know, <laughs> fidgeting and... <laughs> When he caught me, he asked me how I got access. And Vusi didn't want to be the one who's going to be in trouble. Yeah, of course. So literally, I had to be taken off the studio yes, and yes. then banned at the SABC oh, at the no. time. Oh, no. And that was an embarrassing moment because Vusi could not say yeah. that I... Yeah. In Fagile, but anyway, yeah. That's how it happened. Well, you had to understand. Vusi would have been banned with you. He was the real deal at the time because if you remember, Vusi had the afternoon drive show, yes, which was yes. the touchdown. Wow. And then from there, he was doing the Saturday show, which is when I used to sneak in into the other studio. He used to do the top 40. He used to yeah. do, it, it was, it was uh, the hot mix. The hot mix, yes. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the hot mix. So literally, I would have four CDs from the hot mix yes. and then uh, I'd start practicing there and, and, and yeah, that's how, that's how things started. Wow, man. Yeah. I want to go back a little back further yeah. and ask you how you, you got interested yeah. in, 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 the, in the game. Yeah. Well, my half-sister's dad okay. is Tuozani Nene. Okay. Yeah, yes, Tuozani Nene was Radio, two, yes. was, was, uh, radio Zulu yes, at, the, at time. the time. And yeah. uh, he was the afternoon drive guy. So when I when I literally got into the SABC was the age of seven, wow. eight, nine. Lapo, we would actually be waiting for Tuozani Nene to yeah. actually give us, you know, money for my mom. Yes, and I didn't yes. understand that because you remember back in the days, the, uh, our parents 
parents never used to tell us that Guti. Guti, this is your half sister your yes. sister's your sister you, you so, didn't know no i didn't know so it was anene was like my 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 uncle yeah you know we sibabiza malume malume yeah and then from there onwards that's when that's when things started really you know yeah. okay i like this i like what i see <laughs> i like this Where, eh, eh, in Durban. in Durban. yeah is that yeah. very building yeah yeah wow yeah so 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 literally that's how it started yeah and then if if your memory will serve you right my surname is masinga yes i know that and then it's 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 named after a uh, granddad yeah okay yeah okay. who's ke yeah, masinga yes. and then now when my mom used to go to the sabc uh, you know you'd find guys like uh, 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 uh was there yes, yes. was it the era um, of our kansas kansas city yes, was there yes. so you had all these guys yeah. that were basically you know doing radio in front of me from a very early age wow, man. and that's how really things started happening you know and it, and it just triggered that like for instance i always blame my mom for yeah. getting into the industry <laughs> yeah. reason being is that i didn't i i i, I, I was manufactured yeah, it's true. i was one of those kids that were manufactured yeah, to, to to actually to go this. into radio yeah, yeah. so now i was forced to you know like during 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 holidays and 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 and, mm. and things like thanksgiving you would hang Christmas. out at the SABC not only hang out at the SABC but they 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 let me my, my mom would actually literally make me sound like cancers in front of the whole ah. family <laughs> so i could imitate all these guys wow. at home wow. you know and and i didn't know that was a practice because my mom was upset with my half sister's dad okay who's Tozanik nene. Yes. So she wanted to manufacture her own. <laughs> so that's how it really started. So you were a proper manufacturer. <laughs> I, I I'm one of those kids that were manufacturing. Yeah. Plain and simple. And there's a lot of those yeah. uh, that that w- would go to the SABC as kids and they end up being either on TV or on radio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I know with uh, KG Moyekets's daughter. Absolutely. Yes, because I, I used to see her yeah. when she was very yeah. young yeah. walking yeah. in and out of the building and she, she ended up on TV. And she used to come over to P4 when we were uh-huh. at P4. with yes. K with KG imagine well. so she was exposed so she, to it she was exposed to it and and it was just the path you know wow. so whenever the path is really created True. you you tend to follow the path that's it yeah so me and I was those kids that were actually manufactured to that's actually amazing. being radio jocks i wouldn't have known yeah. like did, did you have anything else that mattered to you interest wise I, 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 i was not the smartest in the class yes um were you I, the naughtiest no not at all You were just was, the was, one was, nobody uh, even knows in the class. Like my education is so bad that I went <laughs> to a, a bad. I, I went to a school where there was just too much pressure for me because I had a bursary and then from there onwards I could not I could not I could not keep up with the kids. Yeah. For instance, <laughs> I mean, other kids' parents would be driving Mercs and yes, stuff like yes, that. Yes. I had to walk from Bedford View H. to Eastgate yeah. with my luggage because I was a weekly boarder. Yes. You know, I'd be the last kid uh, in the gate school, yeah. because the principal would be like, are you fine? Yeah, we have I'm, to lock. No, I'm waiting for my mom. I'm <laughs> waiting for my mom. She's going to come pick me up. <laughs> Next. Up so, until the last car drives off then and you then walk. from there I walk. Oh, hell. Clearly there was pressure even then. You were conscious of the social pressure. Even as a young, oh, young yes. kid, so oh, yeah, so it was it was too much. I mean, I grew up in Hillbro, yeah, you know, at yeah. the flats. So uh, my mom was working at um, at um, a, in a hospital. She's a nursing sister, yes. and so it was just too much pressure, you know, being 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 surrounded by rich uh, kids. Like we, uh, I remember when I was in matric, yeah. Bungani Fasi yes. was at the same school. Wow. He was doing like grade two, you, oh, you know, and Dallas was there. Yeah, yes. so I'm talking about rich kids yes, like kids yes. that were that could afford the education but now this was my high school How did you get to to get that bursary I got the bursary because I was a Jeppy boys Ah. So I used to do rowing and then from there Jeppy boys I was spotted because I I was good at rowing ah. and then from there on And where you got in who grow Yeah, quick. I, I just I just didn't it was just there, you know. But you Because were good at it. I was good at it, but the problem is that with rowing it's an expensive sport. Yeah. And then I remember an incident where 
I had to take the whole bloody thing, you know, into a taxi. And my mom and I were carrying it to Germiston. We were, we were rowing at uh, Germiston Lake. Yeah. So now what flipping <laughs> happens is that my thing. mom and I are busy carrying the bloody thing with the chair <laughs> and the oar. So, you know, you need a car. You need, you need car. clams. You need, like, you need to be soft to be doing soft sports. So that, that whole thing just didn't work. And my friends could never understand yeah. at the flat, what is it that got me to that school? <laughs> so I had to explain. Now, I get to the taxi. Yeah. The guy's like, the taxi driver's asking me like, so what the, where the fuck are we going to put this bloody boat? <laughs> <laughs> now, Okay. That's a gagging gun. So eventually we take the whole cab, we yes. take the whole taxi, yeah. and then I get to the flat. The thing do, doesn't do you know, even get into the. Do you know how expensive it is to hire the whole taxi? Hey, Brad, tell me about the it. The whole taxi. Whole taxi. <laughs> so now I get to the flat because I want to take this thing so my friends can see yeah. what it is that I really <laughs> do for, yes, you know, yes. and what really got me to the school. Yeah. And then uh, the thing doesn't even go to the 15th <laughs> floor because the lift is too small. Yeah, so my steps. No, it doesn't even go past <laughs> the steps. <laughs> so I'm leaving it with the securities. <laughs> we have to stay in, in Hospital Street yeah. at a flat called Dudley Heights. Jeez. So I had to leave it at reception. And then the securities are like, and then... Really? But God, God, the nice thing is that I used to now invite all my friends to come and see... But the boy. <laughs> this is the ish. This <laughs> game. Yeah, well, wow, that's man. a story of my life. Wow, man. Do you sometimes look back at the rowing and say, man, maybe, but doesn't matter. You know... You know, Ooh. you probably would have been one of the yeah. first black South Africans. You know, the, yeah. the first black story. <laughs> Coming, you know what? A great question. Because yeah. I've never questioned myself. Maybe I would have been a better person if I did that because of the discipline that it that comes, comes with. That comes with it, it. yeah. And it, it's it's more of a, a team effort sport. That's it, yeah. And uh, there's there's much discipline rather than the entertainment industry, hey. you know. So I, I, I still will get back to what I said earlier, that I still blame my mom. For many a DJ. Oh, I wish I just didn't. <laughs> Have you told her that you blame her? She knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. <laughs> she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows. <laughs> Putin, what is her? My mom. My mom suffers from dementia. Oh, which is very unfortunate right now because yeah. I, I I I live in Fosloris and I have to take care of her. Eesh. She she doesn't know what is going oh, on. Oh no! She forgets my name. Oh no! So you know the blame game thing doesn't has totally matter. shifted. My Eesh. my life is more focused on her, on her yeah. and my family. Very basic lifestyle. Yes, yes. Nothing, Nothing too spectacular. fancy. Yeah. No. That's me. that's it, yeah. Mm. I must tell you though, something that always stands out with you, and because I, I checked out a few of the interviews you've done, yeah, your memory is sharp, dude. No, of course. Are you aware of that? Yeah, no, no, no. I've got a very good memory. I've got a photographical memory, Sheer. which is which is different to being intelligent. Well, that's true. Yeah, you could have used intelligent. It. You could have used it. But I've got, I've got more of a photographical. Because this girl, that's all you need. You are cream, you are pass. Yeah, well, if, if, talk, if, if you say so yourself, <laughs> <laughs> that's how, that's how, that's yeah, education yeah. in South Africa. No, but I, I do. I, I, I'm very aware of my space. I'm, I'm, I've got like a peripheral yes, yes, yes. mentality when yeah. it comes to things. I see things around me, and I snapshot. And then from there onwards, I'm I'm able to relate that into content. Yeah, which is where I specialize in. Chili M got a name because of Nando's. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I used to do a show at Nando's Heatwave Radio yeah. in Savoy. Um, Nando's was also based in the Betrams area. Uh, Nando's. Their office at some no, point. It was, in, it, it, was in, it was in Savoy. The head office was in Savoy. The, okay. first, the first Nando's was in Rosettenville. Ah, okay. Where there was um, a guy by the name of uh, Brian Sachs who was the uh, founding um, 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 entrepreneur yeah. and yeah. businessman. And um, yeah, Damon Beer, uh, there's a guy also who created the first in-house radio station mm, in mm. the country, um, uh, uh, Damien. Um, he was uh, he was uh, he was appointed to actually create um, an online radio station. So there were shows that were the staff show. I used to do the morning show, wow. where, which is what, which was uh, called the staff show. Yes, okay. Yeah, because okay. Uh, during the morning, that's when they are cleaning. They cleaning. Ah, okay. So you speak to the staff members, yes, you yes, motivating yes, them, yes. and the next show, a guy who went to. 
um, uh, 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 Heifeld used to do a show called the Rock a Doodle Do Show. Wow! I started roping in some of the guys that I've once worked with. Like for instance, yeah. I, I worked with AK as well. Okay, he joined us yeah, at, at Nando's. Nando's yeah. yeah, but they, they were they were they were still at YFM. Okay, so they would do you know they would double dance. Yes, or oh, do, do yeah. both shows because they're the one nobody yeah, really hears. Well, but yeah. usually it's show yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and Mcizi Shembe as well. As well, also joined. The afternoon drive um yeah and then the 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 the, the whole nando's thing and the whole the whole chili m name started, started but there. but but i was in chili m then i was first judge jules when y started <laughs> then chili I, w- I want i want to i want to trace the sequence yeah of events yeah from the first day you were you had a microphone in front of you yeah and you had an audience yeah not the metro nyaga nyaga you yeah. chonchi kadi you ngena no vusi yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh, tell me that the first time you had an audience in a microphone well b- well i i have to start first with um when i realized that i'm yes. on the right path okay. was when vusi ernest bob uh they they'd call me in on the other side of the studio okay. and say good to we do ama drops i must do ah, drops for them wow if you remember uh i did some of um, the station imagery for for metro i don't even know that yeah i did the frequencies way before you got yeah. there yeah so these guys now would make me do you listening to vusi letswalo yes. on metro yes. fm so yes. okay yeah. Ernest Pile would be like oh i'm shy like that now i'm shy you know <laughs> there so, was a time when you could as a dj you could call anyone to do a, a, a drop for yes. you there was, there was no time. there was no station voice no, there at wasn't. the time yeah. no there wasn't a station voice so you became and, that guy um, and 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 that's when it started but but with the first the first time i had an audience was at the waterfront radio station and i've said this yeah. um with, with with a lot of upcoming Yes. media personalities yeah, that yeah. that's when really it started you know being being at the waterfront which is now the um, Ferndale yes, Randburg yes, yes, right yes, yes. and then from there onwards I was I was the um, I was the I was I was the so radio that, DJ for for the uh, for the shopping center for the shopping center okay yeah so that's when it really started that's, and at that time I was still at school as well it's interesting how you were able to get these small opportunities i yeah. say, i call them small but yeah. it was quite gradual Well, you know no, of course yeah. of course I, i i appreciated it and you know what it paid me while i was when still living at school as yes, well so yes. i guess that's when the rowing started ending because <laughs> yeah. bob mabena made everything look cool Jeez, we dude. all wanted to be in radio because of him yeah and then now uh, we didn't know that you could get paid for three hours to do a radio gig <laughs> yes. and to pick an on songs like hey oh oh Okay, <laughs> let's do this then. You and I share, share the same same path because Bob Mabena made me want to want to be on radio. I remember well. it's a lot of us. Yeah, eh? absolutely. It's like a lot he, of that, us. That, that, kudos to Bob Mabena for 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 just shaping the industry for just to what it here, is to, today. Just being himself. Yeah, really, you know? absolutely, absolutely. I remember them from uh, when they all came. From uh, the, 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 Radio the, the Bob, Radio Bob, yeah. Shadow Twala, Lawrence Tube, yes. uh, Derbe yeah. was their manager at, at the at time the when it started, yeah. and 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 Glenn Lewis also comes from yes. the same school yes. as well. So yes. yeah, it was it was quite interesting because they really changed the whole commercial scene of what commercial radio should sound like. Absolutely, your next step after being a DJ at a mall. After being a DJ at the mall, that's when YFM kicked in. Okay, yeah. okay. YFM, uh, there was a, there was a whole application for YFM. Yes, I sound like I'm doing this thing like a Ken, like the Mac G thing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, anyway, <laughs> put it in the archives. Yes. But anyway, so after that, then uh, we 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 kick off with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, the application yes. um, platform for YFM mm. Ferndale. Uh, I think yeah, it was Ferndale. Durkhart yeah. Ford had a house there. Okay. Dirk Hartford is the guy who used to be at the SABC. Moved out who to do his own thing. was supposed to, well, I, I, I don't know, but, I, well, rumor has it that Dirk Hartford took 
an application mm-hmm. that was meant to have been a youth station for and the SABC. SABC. Yes. Yeah. And took and it then, to Ikasa. Yes, yes, and took it to Ikasa. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. We'll keep it a rumor. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> legendary a, has it. I must tell you though, they say yeah. never never get the truth. Uh, never get the truth uh, to interrupt a good story because maybe the rumor is a nicer story. Maybe the rumor is a nicer story, but I'm just hey. I'm just sharing. <laughs> I'm just sharing. Why so, George? <laughs> yeah. So now what happens is that my mom drives me to Dirk's house, Ferndale, you know? And 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 um still I, on the path, mom, to manufacturing and teaching. <laughs> You don't understand, but at the end of the day, that was even before YFM was born. I I I I, I saw their yes. their blueprint yes. and what the station was going to wow. be like because I was already interested in yes. the whole space, yes. you know. So I knew there was going to be um, a, youth a youth license, station, a yeah. youth station, applying for frequency, which is ninety nine point. Then it was just a paper. It was just it was just a, before even a, 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 nine months before, before even even. Wow, you know. <laughs> So yeah, eventually I I I I I, I get introduced to Dirk Hartford, mm. and then uh, Dirk Hartford was working with uh, another gentleman. Um, I forgot his name, but yeah. he was like more on the finance side. Okay. So eventually the pitching starts happening. We were in pro tier, and uh, it was an ongoing process mm. most of the time mm. where they were. Um, applying for the radio license and the radio frequency. Why did they need you around sort of in, in that whole process? Or because you... I was doing the voice for the station. Oh, already? So yeah. already. Yeah. I was yeah. already in the mix Jeez. from the Metro yes. days. Yes. Now, when YFM started, I was already hanging the, out yeah. at Metro. Yeah. Yeah. Metro for me was not Metro uh, because I started at Y. Mm. It was Metro first. Fair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And actually, it's easy for people to think it was Y first. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. I was already in the space. Yeah. What the right guys as well. Absolutely. And then I would end up doing Metro. I'd, I'd literally sit there for almost 12 to 15 hours yeah. watching show by show. Wow. I remember there was a Tish Mataz who was on five at the time. Exactly. And, uh, and reception. And, and, and I would go with Tish to actually do Woes the Weekend. Wow. You know, watch him <laughs> while I'm carrying You're like a prop, a proper groupie. Like I was How a, careers ben, are made? Bengu Capella. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was, a, <laughs> I was a genuine Capella. You know, wow. the guy who carries your bag. Yeah, the guy who carries your bag yeah. and will make sure that your car is parked in the right space <laughs> and still not move it. I, I would never let you down. Do you know those guys graduate to the guy who gets the girls? So yeah. clearly, clearly you didn't end Listen, up Listen, I, I, I finished them. <laughs> I finished I finished literally all of theirs. Because <laughs> I was good looking. I can I can name a few. Oh, no, no, no. no. Let's, <laughs> let's not do that. Okay. Let's not do that. Just check in. <laughs> Just checking how far we can go. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but at the end of the day, um, I, was, I was the to-go to guy. Because you remember... Mm. Uh, I had a driver's license yes. from yes. school, and I never used to drink, yeah. and they would drink, and during their show, I would be the guy who sneaks in the bottle. Yeah, okay. You know, so okay. I was the safe guy. Jeez. Let me put it like that's that. Amazing. I was the what? safe guy. What? And that's how careers are made. Absolutely. It's unfortunate young guys today, they want a different path. They don't realize carrying someone's bag is actually not a bad thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, it's like more, it was more development for me. True. You know, at the time, it was like I was in a development league without being aware of it. That you were. But, but that's exactly what happened. Amazing. Go yeah. back to Dirk. They get a license. Dirk Ford, we're in Protea Hotel. We're bidding against Virgin Radio okay. and also YFM. Yeah. Then eventually we win the bid. Yeah. Not that I was sitting on the panel. No, yes. I but was you part were... of the audience. Oh, every every, step. every yeah. step of the way from uh, the sound of the station as to how the station's going to be sounding. You were there. Yeah, I was I was, I was. was right there. I was already in the mix wow. because should YFM have lost their bid yeah. to get the frequency and get the 99.2 um, FM frequency mm. uh, I, I, and, and, and lost to Virgin, mm. I was not going to be a part of Y. Pretty much, so, yeah. So I had my eggs in all one basket. That's it, yeah. And for some reason, God willing, God, yeah. I decided to bet on the right horse. And the horse won. And the horse won. And the horse won, yeah. But you were never on air. When? When, 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 when I started. Why, when I started. Why started, I was on air. 
Saturdays and Sundays, uh, three to uh, six. That's, that's I did the days. judgment hours on YFM when YFM started. I started off on the first week on Saturday, and we were sitting every day in studio waiting yes. for our shows to come. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Eh? Was on Monday. Absolutely. Waiting for the, for for the Saturdays, Saturdays show. and Sundays. Yes. Yeah. Because there was a different lineup between Monday, Monday to Friday. Friday so yes. my, my gig was on Saturdays and Sunday together with some other guys as well. Um, you Fred would hang Joe, around, yes. you know, oh, yeah, was on weekends as Joe well. Joe used to do weekends as yeah, well. Joe yeah, Joe started off on weekends. Tebow's did weekends yeah. as well. But during the week, we were account executives for the station. Selling airtime. Selling airtime. We were trained at Redmark for a week, yeah. which was the main sales house for the radio, for, for the radio station. That's amazing. So, yeah. Do you remember uh, the, the energy at the time, the yeah. YFM energy in the first few weeks? Of uh, of uh, going going on air. I'll take you back, David. Yeah. I'll take you back to a, a, a bus. Yeah. There was a there was a caravel that was owned by Oskido, mm. a green caravel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. There was a swearing that was named on the <laughs> on windscreen. The, oh hell. Yeah. <laughs> so we went to a place. Uh, I called Rift City, mm, where we went mm. to go celebrate before okay. our on air okay. sort of date. Yes. So we all basically got into the green bus which was a VW green bus yes, yes. and then it was a, it was a Kalawa bus okay and then from there onwards we started celebrating and um, None. yeah now th- this was the vibe <laughs> the, this was the space that i wanted to be in you guys were like the coolest kids in town absolutely absolutely Man. That, that that was like that was like a radio moment that that really shaped the whole industry yeah. just like the bus that bob mapen and lawrence to yes, we on yeah you know, I, I I could feel their energy, and that's exactly what was happening yeah. with a bunch of guys who are young, energetic, Jeez. who wanted everything. Yeah. You know that was that was just to go on air, and that was our camaraderie that we had. And you had a. It was a. It sounded like a brotherhood. It was. It yeah. was. We, there was no one who had cash. Yeah. Well. <laughs> no one had money. Like Nobody had anything. So, so you reckon in Mali? See, Mali Amosh. Not really. Mali Amosh. <laughs> Mali, Mali. The, the way you said it, like, no. we were broke. So I guess it was, we were all the same. Yeah, no, we were. But <laughs> remember, remember something, David. In life, you, you, we're all given a clean page. Yeah. And then it's your duty to, to write yeah. well, your, your story. destiny. Yeah, you know? that's true. So money doesn't change men. But, you know, it, 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 it's like it's like the decisions that we make yeah. when we grow and the landscape and everything that influences you and your surroundings yes, and yes. people in your life will actually change. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I wanted to, to find out about the why days and how long were you there for? I was there for three months. Uh, that's the, Probably that's why I yeah. said you were not on I was, air. I was there for yes. three months. Because I, I don't remember yeah. hearing you in the early why. Yeah, no, yes. I was there for three months and then after that I didn't rock up for my show. Nobody <laughs> did, and nobody knew where I was and uh, Randall was like, okay. What so happened? I just, I just quit. I, got, <laughs> I, I didn't like doing... Weekend shows. Oh hell! <laughs> I didn't want to do the show I was you, doing. You felt you were, it was too small for you. I thought. I thought. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, after going all the way, way, you way, know what I mean. I saw the whole application. You must remember, Ikasa was in Rosebank, so yeah. I would go to the library. True. In, in in Rosebank, you know, to do some filing as well yeah. on behalf yeah. of Dirk. So now, so you were there, and I it's like, there. ah. Ow. Like and then how? Hey, we like, were the guys no. who were busy with the heist. Now that so, you're gone, ah. he has caught. <laughs> ah. Well, Randall happened. <laughs> Not that <laughs> Randall happened. <laughs> Jeez, uh, tell me the the, the Randall tsunami. Randall came from Cape Town. He mm, was a, he was a, a Good Hope station manager, program manager, program think, manager yeah. at Good Hope, and uh, yeah, he came with his own lineup and his own oh, dream team. Okay, so that's what happened, and and I respect him for that because he had a different vision of True. where he wanted the station to go and how the stations should sound like. And didn't, unfortunately, didn't you call Derek to say ah? 
Well, Dirk was no longer active as well. Oh. Yeah, man. So, so, yeah, the people you started with were no longer there. Well, not that he wasn't there, but he was more focused on other stuff yeah, now. Yeah. YFM was born, he had done his paid work. Done. Yeah, and 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 that was it. So, yeah. we had to deal with our program manager instead of now. Because now, you must remember, David, mm. that, that once you start creating an empire, mm. you know, you've got guys now that need to, you know, that you need to report to. True, and other true. guys that need to yeah. watch your direct line. That is true. So yeah. now I was like, Itch. I have to make an appointment now. <laughs> Mom, where are you? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Dirk! Dirk, I, I know your house. Door. I know your house, Dirk. I know your dogs. <laughs> they live in your couch. Oh, no. <laughs> now I have to make an appointment to see you. You know what? Uh, oh, no. I, I really did feel, I did feel betrayed somehow. So yeah. Hence, that was the motivation behind the quitting. So you eventually... So, I, but, but now... I was so young that I didn't understand, you know, yeah, the protocol. whole line of employees. Yes. You don't just quit. Yeah, protocol, comrade. Yeah, yeah. You don't just leave. You just, you, you know, I just, I just sort of flipped this. <laughs> I was studying about Thomas Bob. Interesting you I talk about Thomas. Because Thomas sat on that very chair. Yeah. And his story now com connects perfectly with mm, yours. Because mm. he he was told probably two or three days before, before he Y, mm. Y went on air. Mm. He came to Joburg the day before Y went on air. I, I found it, I, I just, I, I just <laughs> you know what, Ned David, you know, you know, you know, you, you know, like, <laughs> Thomas had dreads. <laughs> and I understand he was a Randall guy. We well, used to, he, know, he came from Randall's camp. Yes. And, and he used to also work at the waterfront, I think, yes. at the waterfront in Cape Town. Okay. He, was a, he, was a, he, was a, he was a waiter. Yeah, he and was. He used to he, sell he, pizza. He, yeah, and yeah. then he was also at Good Hope yes. all, over the weekend. So Randall decides to bring him through. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, so change of lineup. <laughs> okay. Was there a lineup presented to everybody before the Randall lineup, there was, and there what, what, was, there was a lineup that was presented before is, that. Is. Randall comes through now. Changes. There things. was Dushvel Radio Training Academy. Okay, that was created where there was a German guy who came through. Mm, mm. Um, I forgot his name, yeah. but he was uh, just taking us through the ropes and stuff. Is, but is. anyway, cut a long story short, they give. The lineup, the original lineup, mm. and then they changed the lineup. And then there's Sammy T now on breakfast. Who, who then, was meant to do breakfast? You know what? I'd be honest with you, I don't know because yes. we had single, single, single sessions. Oh, so you yeah. wouldn't have known. I, yeah. I, 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 I just knew what one was meant to be to doing. Do, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. What show were you, were you meant to do? I think Joe was going to do Drive. I was going to do. Evenings, that show that was done by which was night radio. Is is uh, it? Like I think it was. It was. It was. It was. Um. It was. Um. Early evening or late. Early evening. evening. Six yeah. nine. Six okay. nine. Yeah, okay. Six nine. It was. I know. Which was on, workable. It, which was it workable. was done by a, AKA at some point. Yeah, I know and, that. Yeah. Is, and, is. and 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 Paul. And Paul as well. Yeah. yeah. Paul yeah. also did it. I, I think Paul actually did it. Yeah. 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 If I remember as well. Yeah. Paul did it. He was the only one who was driving. And he, so, was, <laughs> he was the only one with a car. Uh, he was the youngest. <laughs> well, yeah, interesting. He sat on that very chair. He's like, hey, man, I had a gig elsewhere. He was on yeah. uh, on uh, Voice of Soweto. He was on Voice of yes, Soweto. Exactly, yeah. He had a gig. He, he was, was a softie. Well, that, that one is, is like a <laughs> silver spoon. <laughs> I listen to you. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask a car. See, he didn't roll. Don't ask a car. He's a boy. He didn't roll like you. No, but at home they were soft. <laughs> I hope there's a difference. <laughs> Gubo baby soft. Yeah. That guy. I mean the way you say it. <laughs> no, he was soft. Yeah. And then from there, he was the only one who drove amongst us. And yes. him and, and Oskido. Yeah. They yeah. were the only ones. Oskido and the Kumbi. Yeah. <laughs> he had the Kumbi, Oskido, yeah. and other cars. And that was when Oskido was shuttling YFM and also Kalawa. Oh, Kalawa yes, was still young at yes, the time. Very young. So, yeah. 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 So that 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 is exactly what happened. So Jeez. now and Randall the, the comes. Randall through. comes, things change. They must have changed a few days before you guys la, la, were there. La, la. Like they pulled a fast one on us. 
They yeah. pulled a fast one on everybody, and then from there it was okay. That's so it. This is the show you're gonna do. This is the show you're gonna do. I was like, when are you going to weekend? Do you, you you did did you say which show you? Yeah, you said you were meant to do early evening, and early and, evening. and suddenly six, it, was, nine, it was pulled. It was pulled out thing. of you. Yes. Ah, six, ah, um, nisi, ah, okay, okay. I'll wait for the weekend. But you seem like you were fine for the first few. Weeks or months of the of the setup. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah. uh, and it got to you with time. It got to me like, okay, okay, <laughs> these guys are weak. <laughs> like, I, 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 they don't I just, deserve I just, these shows. Just, they just, <laughs> just, just, just didn't get it. You should have said, you know, my experience. I worked now. Like, pop my pen. <laughs> absolutely. And now I'm ending up shuttling myself and going to Metro Jeez. while I'm still at Y. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm expected to be selling airtime, and and it was just a, slightly yeah, a bit much, you yeah. know. So it just didn't work for me. One random morning, you decided I'm not going there. Yeah, well, I decided I'm off to Swaziland. <laughs> to do uh, what? I was in love. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> I was in love and I wanted to start my own radio station in Swaziland. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted to, I knew the whole thing about YFM. I even, you stole, knew the, yes. I even stole the blueprint. <laughs> I wanted to go do this in Swaziland. I wanted to, <laughs> and what happened? <laughs> it didn't work, clearly. No, well, it didn't work. There's, yes. there's, a, there's a whole Swazi thing. That was, and then I thought, okay, I'll do a radio course. I'll, I'll, I'll be teaching people radio. <laughs> you know, to an extent that there was even a newspaper article that there's um, a South African who's going to be training DJs. In, you know, in Swaziland. In Swaziland. <laughs> you are a pusher, my man. Hey, you were kicking hey, doors. Listen, I was there when this thing started. I can start a radio station. <laughs> and, uh, that's what I was thinking. That's what I had in mind when I quit. I was like, you know what? And I had a, 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 the mother of my boys hey. was like, baby, she's Swazi. Yeah, so hence, but, that was the motivation. Hey, factor. So what's what? it in your hub? You know what? The very same thing that you guys were doing here. We, I saw Monsieur Enzale. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. And there's bureaucracy to deal with. And I took off. <laughs> Not knowing what my figure, I have to deal with the king. Yeah. And Bruce it wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't that easy. So, yeah. And it started yeah. to die. Yeah. yeah. Baby, yeah. it didn't work. Baby, it's <laughs> not working. <laughs> we're going back home. It's not working. Jeez, man. Well, I must tell you, you get a hundred for trying. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I think I was over ambitious more than anything. But yeah, you know what? If, the, if, 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 if I would turn back anything, I would not change that landscape. Because that's true. Eh? It was just part of what really made you, know, you who you made are. Me. And you are, you know, you're a, a yeah, complete person yeah. with interesting experiences. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Mm. And then you come back home. Come back home. Yeah. And then from there, now I need to deal with the fact that I'm not yeah, working yeah. back in Fos Loras at my home. Yeah. And now you must keep in mind that people now remember you, Gucci, yeah, of course. YFM, yes. and you're still in the calendar of YFM. Yeah, when YFM are. started, yes. like, okay, you pack yes. after six months, so it never worked. Yeah, so what and happened? I, I end up having now to, 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 to start. That's when the Nando's thing Okay, happened. oh, that's why. So Judge Jules gone. Judge Jules now is gone with yes. the judgment hours with yes, YFM. Yes. I resurface again at Nando's, yeah. which is Nando's Heatwave Radio. Even then, I'm still the first guy who's in line <laughs> when it comes to the <laughs> with, with the with the whole plan of again, the Again, number one. Ah. <laughs> you see the blueprint again. <laughs> ah, it's, uh, this is where I'm going. So, yeah, I join, I join, Jeez. I join, I join um, the, 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 the yeah. team. Um, for, Do you remember for, who else was there? You said about, or oh, you brought some of the guys. Lenny Chakos, okay. uh, who's now on CNN. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rocco Doodle Dusha was, was done by Paul Rotherham, yes. wow, which was okay. 9 to 12, 12 to 3, AK. Yeah. Uh, who else was there? Oh, 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 we had another gentleman who is now part of um, um, uh, 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 KFM. Okay. Yeah, I just forgot his name, but he was very young at the time. But anyway, that was the lineup now. Mm. It wasn't a 24-hour station, so we would actually cut off at 6 to 6, and then from there it goes on automation. Mm. We would play just normal uh, Portuguese music, actually, because of the Nando's 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 brand. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that was the lineup, and then I end up been there and then from there I get the call to come join Metro. Do you remember that call? Yeah, I do. 
what happened? Vividly. Who had, Vividly. You, who had you? Who remembered? Uh, you know, when that call came through, now I'm Chili M. They mm. don't know this is Judge Jules. They don't know that guy. They don't know the guy. I've yeah. reinvented my whole imagery. <laughs> and then I'm heard at Nando's in Melville. By by PYC and Romeo, who, who where they used to manager. was program manager. Yeah. So they used to. So, they were having a meal. They were having a meal, and they hear this guy. And then from there onwards, they know they don't know who I am. Of they course. call the station, but you know this guy because there I was on fire. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was literally, you know what? At Nando's, I was like tearing. I was. <laughs> I was on peri peri fire yes, mode. I yes, was like chili. Yes, like yes, yes. I, this is it now. I need to break into mainstream. That's it. Yeah. Because the, my peers are where, serious where, now. They, they they're all buying cars. And there were stars. I'm now. like shit. It. This was land, man. Damn it, <laughs> guy. You need to catch up. <laughs> now everything I'm doing, and I can see that. You know what? Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Baby steps. Again, you've made a mistake, Vugani. It's okay. Now. Yes. Do best here. I see if you know. I was, I was, I was, I was snooping myself Jeez. day in, day out. I was my worst critic. Yeah. I was listening to my projections. I was listening to my promos. Everything wow. I was doing, I was like, you know what? I would put myself, and then I'd put anyone around any station, and it's and then I'd like, I'm like, I right, gone. <laughs> you know, bucket list crossed. <laughs> you don't count. You count. Yes, maybe I'll beat you. you. Yes. Okay, let me just train harder. Yeah. That's how hungry I was. Wow. So every link really mattered to such an effect that I remember I was, they, they, they complained that, okay, dude, let's just play five songs and mm, then, and then you, know, you can talk. Because now I'm doing you're, radio you're, you're, where I'm supposed cushion. to be doing like back announcing <laughs> and, and, smoothly. And, and, and mentioning specials at the show. I mean, uh, that was my job. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I was supposed to be doing that. Like, And even the CDs we were playing, I wanted cutting edge music. I was, <laughs> I wanted promos. I wanted drops because I've seen this happen before. Yes, you know, why? and these guys are like slow. Wait like, a minute, we're on the rock a doodle do show right here on Nando's Heatwave Radio. Wow. Hope you're enjoying your peri peri experience. Don't forget that you can get yourself a special, which is a, yes, a, a full quarter, meal, quarter chicken, a quarter powder. chicken. Oh. <laughs> What, like, were, what were you doing? I was doing radio. I was doing time. I was like, <laughs> wait. People, we don't want them to know the time. We want them to spend longer time sitting. No, dude. You are more, more sharp. Like, I had traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this before. You had traffic. I had traffic. <laughs> I was like, no. This is how radio uh, must be done. <laughs> And you're putting me... And remember now, I was wow. on the morning show. Yeah, of course. There, there's no people. <laughs> Why <don't you> leave? <laughs> I'm doing the staff show. <laughs> I'm doing the staff show. Talking to people that I must be encouraging that, hey... Work hard. And then, uh, Focus. The, hey, and then speak to the MT of Nando's who's going to tell them the message of the day. Yes. You know, peaceful radio. Yes. I know. I, I, I'm on traffic. <laughs> I'm on breakfast. <laughs> it's not even you breakfast. Were do, you were doing break- I was doing breakfast. I was doing breakfast. <laughs> and this is not even breakfast that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing a stop flipping show, speaking to people that are ready to open their grills. Yes, you know what I mean? Like, dude. Yes, they're, they're scrubbing okay. the floor. Okay, we hear you. We Why don't hear you. It's seven minutes after seven. Now, <laughs> the interesting thing is that on the last hour is when the store start opening. Yes. That's when I crank here for more. <laughs> and I guess that's how I that's actually how got I mo- because you know, that's when the doors open. I was about to say, they say it's not the job you have, it's the job you you, you want that matters. Yeah. Because yeah. the one you have, you already have. And Absolutely. you were you were practicing it like like the nah, way it's supposed to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this thing man. Of, te- of advising staff, I no, it, it will yeah. come later. Work hard, you know. <laughs> you must focus. Read the message of the day. I remember I had the motivation mood of the day. 
was like, okay, guys, these are the true Nendokas. Like, for instance, uh, a true, what is a true Nendokas? Yeah. A true Nendokas, it's uh, passion, courage, integrity. Yes, all Those of are that. the five yes, pillars yes. of a true Nendokas. Like, you ask anyone where you go to, um, like, for instance, Nando's, like, mm. you get the head of house who's called a Patrao. Okay. So Jeez. the Patrao is the head of house. Yeah. So the Patrao is. And store then, manager. Store manager, yes, we, yes. We, 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 call, we call him Patrao. So next time you go to Nando, I should ask, ask for a patrol. patrol which, yes. Who's the patrol of the store? Wow, they'll think I've worked there before. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> it, it, to, to, to such an effect that this is what guides me. Passion, courage, wow, integrity, look at that. and respect. Look, it's still there. Yeah, Nando's I, I is still a part of yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's, That's incredible. That, 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 that was brilliant. That was... That was that was great for me because um, I got to really uh, work with people that were great. And yeah. Nando's at the time was still very fresh Brand and new. new. Probably had a few you shops. Know? Yeah, yes. absolutely. And Do you know, because I remember that Chili M. Yeah. Because uh, we joined Metro around the same time. Sure. And you were, I was producing Breakfast with Ice and you were doing uh, uh, 12, is it to three. 12 to 3. Yeah. And because, uh, well, like us, we used to hang around this, this ABC the whole day. Yeah. You would come early to mm-hmm. do promos, to record your stuff oh, yeah. with Neo Majaj. Yes, yes. Majaj. Majaj, exactly. <laughs> That's how you used to call him. Yeah, and that yeah. became his name, Majaj. Yeah, yeah. If you remember very well, David, yeah. we, it was very much different camps when it came to Metro. Yes, of course. You know, you and your team. Yes, and another like, team. We were and... very much on this thing yeah. of like, hey, how's it? You yeah. Know, okay, so we the team. You know, the <laughs> studio time has been booked for this For team. these guys, yeah. But there was a bit of separation. Nina, yeah. You, you were the breakfast We were the guys. breakfast, eh? Hey, we, you know, but I must admit, though, we didn't think we were special, just for the record. You lied. No. I, you why, why lied. Would, dude, we were worried about the next show. We didn't, we didn't we're not worried about what other people Ice, Ice, Ice was on fire. Yes. And uh, I got, I got, I got, I got very close with Ice with, uh, when, when he was dating one of the SABC One continuity yes, presenters. Yes, yes. Um, yes, uh, yes, Uzandi. Uh, Uzandi. Yes, yes. Yeah. and then I was dating Utembi, okay. Tembi's Kosana, All who right. used to be with Sold Out yeah, wow. at the time. <laughs> so we were, we, you, you know, used to we go started, to the same parties. You know, so <laughs> I, started, I, I started being that guy. Like, okay. It's yeah. cool, guys. No, dating no, cool I'm chicks. looking at the, at the YFM guys like this. Look at them. Look, hey. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that Chili M yeah. that came with the same Nando's energy mm. that brought it to Metro. I remember yeah. the guy that used to spend hours getting, making sure that his liners were right, yeah. making sure that his promos were right. I remember U- 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 Uneo saying, geez, we work hard, but he was yeah. having fun. He was having the time of his life. Absolutely not. Because, because no one has ever pushed him that hard. Hey. And, and you were that guy. And yeah. it was yeah. just one of those shows that it's really I, hard I, to I, forget. I, 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 take, I take my craft very seriously. Yeah. You know, I take my craft very seriously. To in fact that, you know what, when, 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 when I, other DJs are sleeping, Mina. I'm snooping. Yes, and I'm, I'm, yes. I'm listening to them. I'm listening to competition. I'm listening yes. to all station. I'm listening to all formats. Wow. That That is how personal I really took my craft. Yes. And I still take And you I never still stopped. Do, yeah. I still do. You know, and, and yeah, well, that was Metro. That's that how Metro, Metro started. That's how two, that was 12 to 3. Um, doing the um, the the, the what, uh, what did you call the show? I forgot what it was. It called. was the Chili M show. Chili M show, of course. Yeah, it was, it was the Chili M show. show. Yeah. Yes. No, I just I just wanted to personalize it and put in a stamp of authority, and uh, I just wanted people to remember the name, and I wanted competition to know uh, who's here. who in the zoo. And that was it. Yeah. I must tell you though, it was um, it wasn't luck because you had put in a lot of hours into what you got eventually. Yeah. Uh, that the call to come and work for Metro must have been a, a huge moment. You know what? I, I Somehow, I'm glad you asked that question. I I, I did expect something that to call. happen. That call, yeah, okay. I, 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 you know, sometimes you need to dream about yes. certain things. Yes. You need to want them. Yeah. You know, you need to draw that energy. You yes. need to open that 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 whole, that whole network. You need to open your antennas True. to to anything. Just anyone who's yeah. listening out there, hear me out. You know, so so that's how that's how 
it happened. So there was a, a clear, clear expectation because it you... was it was either it was either I was going I was I, <clears throat> I definitely knew I was not going to go back to IFM at this, the time. Well, you, it was yeah, done, mushy, dusted, and mushy. And mushy. <laughs> None of the guys at Metro uh, at YFM want me. <laughs> they speak about me yeah. behind my back. <laughs> I hear stories that are thrown in the corridors yes. about me. What a delinquent I oh, am! Hell. <laughs> well, now I must focus on Metro. Yeah, that was my. That was just the. the, the, the that you, was you, 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 you must have, have and, and you, you already gave that indication that you, you were, you were gloating a little bit when, when you were on a bigger platform. Yeah, well, because I was the first one to actually break into mainstream. To yes, yeah. yes. Now these guys were still stuck. In, in, in Bertrams. I like the way you say they were stuck there. Yeah, I was already swiping the cards <laughs> at the SABC. Much, much bigger salary at as the well. SABC. Yes. I could not... You know, you know. I remember one thing. Ne? The biggest achievement yeah. was when I went to... When I went downstairs at the SABC to collect to go, my Yes, card. you know where it is. Where they take oh. your photo. <laughs> I was like, you got a yellow card? Wow. Me? Wow. Like, forget about the contract. The yellow card is in my face. That's me right there. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Do I have the yellow card, buddy? I'm, I'm sure you do. I'm sure I'm sure I'm modify you. Nah, I'm sure. Come on. But you've been can there I, can for I a just, long Can time. I just say this? It doesn't mm. work anymore. Are we, you serious? We, we don't use it anymore. Now we use our finger. Here it is. There's the yellow yes, card. There's the yes, yellow card. There's talking. the card. <laughs> and look at you. That was a younger you. Actually, th- th- you know. This you was know, your first card. That's the f- picture that's used at the SABC. They never change it. Wow. So even if you lose that card, they will just. I remember this guy. Picture. I remember that guy too. <laughs> <laughs> that's rather interesting. <laughs> well, this is the yellow card that she yeah, was talking yeah. about. Like, it was, it was like. <laughs> the, like forget about the the eighth floor and the contracts. Like I want to go downstairs. Yeah, I want and go my, get the yellow card. I remember. I remember. I would go and just swipe. Yeah, you know, just tap and swipe. <laughs> and then go to the canteen. Okay, sucked. it works. <laughs> forget about the contract and stuff like that. That's amazing. Nah, I don't Cause, mind because you were once kicked out of the building because you didn't have a yellow I, card. The yellow card was like the biggest. It was like. It was like the Holy Grail. Wow. You know, do you that know, is how... Do, do you know that guys who've used the yellow card to get chicks? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, they would say, uh, I'm a photographer or I'm no, a camera man, guy. No, I used to go to gigs <laughs> yeah. and just produce the card. And, and then, then it, let it would you be in. VIP, VIP, VIP. <laughs> VIP, VIP, VIP. <laughs> well, it doesn't work it, anymore. Yeah. I've never used it like that, but I know there are guys who I worked with when I when was I, When I, you were very... You, 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 I was a you know what? You clean, yeah, David. That was, that's that why. When problem. are you consistent? And yeah, and that I, was my problem. I, I applaud you for that. <laughs> Consistency. You yes. know. You know. Sometimes we tend to want to push the envelope and push the goalposts yes, to yes. the edge to see how far. How like we're yeah. getting. When are you the? You you are. Like your it's steps. A bo- it's a boring it's, life, my man. It's not a boring life I because think if you it look is. at it. If you look at it, it's like educational. You start yeah. at primary, you go to high school, yeah, slowly, then tertiary, yeah, yeah, yeah. you graduate, yeah. you get married, you get a job. You, you're living a very consistent life. Yeah, I don't know. And then, and, and, and thanks I, I, for I think, that. I think stories like yours are way more interesting. Not you have a Swaziland story. I could never create that. Yeah, well, I can take your story and use it for myself and pretend it's mine, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I think it's a far more interesting life to talk yeah. about Swaziland like yeah. that. No, no, no. I, I I, I've really lived a life and a half, David. You, you did, know? eh? Yeah, I did. And 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 th- th- there's always and you, I like how you phrased it that a a why we and then they had all sorts of stories. Yeah, no, because even did. at Metro there were all sorts of stories. There were a lot of stories. Guduchi, Guduchi, only, yo, I was a headache. <laughs> no, at Metro, I'm at, at Metro, I was a headache. Do you know you were a headache? I I I I realized it that I was a superstar. <laughs> oh, now. How long Piwase did that take? How long did that take for you to realize you're like, a superstar? Like uh, six months after the rating started, <laughs> you know, yeah, the numbers are going up. Numbers are, are, are trickling and they're coming in. Who like, did you take the show yeah. from? Kenny Mays. Yeah, from Kenny Mays. Yes, yeah. yes. And 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 Kenny had done a fantastic and amazing. job as Mafuta well. Amazing. Mafuta James yeah. was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And 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 I took over from him. Yeah. And then from there onwards, I I just grew numbers, diary on diary, year on year. Yeah. You know the numbers. I was that guy, Mina. That you know what? Ne? 
I would let my talent speak for itself yes. and then from there I'd still put in more effort in training and train yes. and train yes. you and were, train you were but got your foot when I play I play hard yeah. and I play Ooh. dirty Ooh. Now that was a problem. Yeah. Now I started now seeing myself like I get bored <laughs> we in Cape Town yeah. or in PE then I want to live in the, I want to be in a penthouse. <laughs> And then I'll start upgrading. That story is true. I thought that story was a lie. <laughs> I can't believe now, it. Now, we, we get to Durban, yeah. Elangeni Hotel. The whole staff is sleeping in a one single bedroom. I'm like, I want to the, upgrade. The manager, uh, let me, what's happening there at the top? <laughs> <laughs> I want that. The guy is like, oh, no, that's the penthouse. So the, if the SIBC is paying, how much different must I add on? <laughs> To get that. To be there. I said, well, you'll have to add 1,500. <laughs> okay, I want Is that. Is that it? I want it. I remember once Glenn came into my suite at the Lankini Hotel. Uh. And then he's like, Bele, Bele. Ooh, like and then when Futi, I invited him to yeah, see me <laughs> and see him. <laughs> 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 the penthouse. <laughs> what you, Glenn? Pele, Pele, what's going on? We tell like a jadli. And then I lied to him. I'm like, well, minister is in Pukerela. Like, I want him to feel. Who's the star here? Who's the star here? Like, okay. <laughs> now, Glenn calls Pius. Like, and then, what's Glenn? going on there? I get to Avis, Oh, no, no. Upgrade the car. Dude, that story is true. That's true. All these stories. Are, yeah. And then I, mean, get, I thought by a clear, man, I she, get to Avis. I'm like, what car is this? But yeah, so it's some, a Corolla. No one can number as lazy. This, you are my singer. Here's the, you know those files yeah, that yeah, they yeah, put your keys yes, in. Yes, yes, yes. Sign here, please. To to wait a minute. What cars do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> well, get me a, so if the SABC pays for this, me and how I'm, much do I have to pay to upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> end up not paying. Oh, the SABC no. gets called. Oh no! So your guy took a Mac <laughs> and the Tatelela SABC Airways, wow. the company that does the bookings. Yes. For flights yes, and stuff yes, like that, yes, yes. they did not want, want to, to see me. Best of all, because this was a recurring act now. So <laughs> everything the SABC did on my behalf, you would you book more. me, me na, yeah, a flight on SAA. I will get a economy. first class. Me nung talo ng sale pan video clean ba mo ba Wow. Where's that Get me another station. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know what? Man? I was so cunning. Yeah. <laughs> in such a way that I managed to swindle my way around. But now, you must pay for the things. Of course you have. So to. now I end up not paying for them. <laughs> and this is all piling up. So now you're starting to become a headache <laughs> for and the corporation. Bees. Ay, chill. Let's what happened here? Yeah. Please, can you? It started soft. Yeah. Like, please just sort it out. Please okay. Sort it out. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah, sorry. And then sorry. there's another call that comes through. Uh, we have a gentleman here <laughs> by the name of Chili M who works for the SAPC, yes. who is now who's upgraded his car. Yeah. So we are just wondering um, <laughs> who's going to be <laughs> settling the bill. <laughs> Yo. Jeez. Wow. And a call comes through. Chili. Yes. <laughs> what happened over the weekend with the car? Bogu, Either Agibu Isanga. Oh, there was a time where I was meant to chili. fly back into Joburg. Mm. I take the car and then Mina, I drive the car to Joburg. Yeah. Oh. Because I just enjoyed it for the weekend. You might as well. Like, okay. So Shut I now try and swindle getting my flight funds. There's a ticket. There's a ticket. So can we... So can you please refund me? <laughs> <laughs> I just never got it. Wow. I just never got it. And then the call would come. So Chile, uh, the car <coughs> is not returned. What, what happened? Wait, wait, tell me, Atiyam, were you aware, and I asked this and it's a dumb question, that you were just naughty? Were you, yeah, aware, but, were you no, conscious you of this? You know what? No, yeah. It's, being, it, it's childish, but that's what happens when you're a kid. 
You, but, but you were not that young. I was young. Well, mid twenties, twenty two, twenty three. I mean, that yeah. was at my peak, and now I just wanted the finer things. <laughs> and they were here. I just wanted finer things. That's it, David. You and they were, they were all here. And at my disposal, and I see things are happening. And I'm learning now the situation at the SABC that we don't pay for things. <laughs> and then I start making orders at the hotel. Yeah, I start yeah. ordering from the bar. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you finish the booze so in the fridge. <laughs> if I press this button, nine. number nine. Number nine. Things come. I press nine, ne? Yeah. Things and then come. I can order and put it in the room. But <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ladies. Wait, ladies. What do you want? Let's have a drink. <laughs> then it ends up being another call. Okay. I'm hungry. Can we get some food? One of the girls will be like, can we get some food? Yes. Mm-hmm. Press nine. Press nine. <laughs> I'd be like, even on nine in the bathroom, like... <laughs> uh, Sitting on the toilet, press nine. Uh, room service, please. <laughs> Tessari said the restaurant is closed. Get to me now. Okay, so yeah, do you what know do I do? I because I'm, I'm hungry now. I'm one of the guys from Metro. <laughs> you know, I'd wait a bit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Lapo, I don't wake up for breakfast. No. Oh, I yes. don't wake up for breakfast. You're late for breakfast. The whole team is, is sitting downstairs. downstairs. I know. We used to be downstairs having breakfast. Having breakfast, normal lives. Me and I just walk in at that time. <laughs> I walk in when everyone is going to breakfast. The chilly one. So now, these are the journalists. First time they, they, they interviewed so me. So they did pick up on the, on the story. Yeah, no. Our fellow colleagues, they will always oh, hear course, about yeah, it. you know, with, Yeah, uh, and spread it. And, yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's malicious yeah. as well. Because, um, you know. Hey, hey, yeah. But it, 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 it happened. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. Now, what there was a journalist who once asked me, who said to me, what is the first thing you do in the morning? Yeah. I was like, I go home. Yeah. <laughs> The first thing I do in the morning... I go home from somewhere. Like, I'm from somewhere, <laughs> and now in the morning, I must go home. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the life you were living. That's the life I was living. And I was telling the absolute truth. And they thought it was a, it was a joke. I was like, you know what? The first thing I do in the morning, I, I, I won't lie to you and say, I go I to gym, up, yeah. I do this, <laughs> I do that. First thing I do in the morning, I go home. <laughs> wow, Chili. What a life. You experience your metro and the call to say we are tired of you. Yeah, it came. It came. It came. It came. After Was it how many years? Two, they gave two you two years. seasons. Yeah. yeah, I had two years. I had two years there. And then Did you anticipate this call? You know what? After, after, after not more, so uh, much as a person with you. I, anytime. Yeah, well, you know what? I never saw it coming, I'll be honest. Really? I never saw with it coming. With all that. I never saw it coming. Because the numbers, the numbers were great, the listeners were happy. Absolutely, but people didn't know. But the media and and everything I was doing out of the studio was catching up. Jeez, you know, was, was I was on the headlines, I was on newspapers every week in week out. I'd yeah. be like, your Chile's lunch done guy. this now. Ah. Chile's done this now. So that's when you know I was perceived as the bad boy. Yeah, you know. Hey. So yeah, and then it wasn't good stories at all. No, no, it was just. Bad story after bad story, and <laughs> my my contract was terminated because I brought the station's name into the disrepute. Days. You know, and and yeah, you know. Did so. they wait for the contract to to to? No, to they end? didn't. It, it, so you, they cut it short. They cut it short, and then from there, but at least they had the decency for me to say goodbye. Oh, they didn't just say no, you're no, no longer coming no, back. No, 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 no. I, I was given a week to do my bye byes, and and I Jeez. did. I had to wrap up the show. Pick up my bags. You know, the whole team was dismantled. Jeez, man. A lot of people lost a, a great opportunity. Yes. Because who, we who were you a great with team. at the time? I, I had Bonsai. Oh, yes. Some other yes, chick called Bonsai, yes, who's yes. an actress. Yeah. I had Mojaj, who yes. continued working for the, the station, station yeah. and then joined uh, Highfelt. I had um, some guy, my man, mm, who used yes, to be I called remember. my man, yes. who, used, uh, who used to stay in Yeovil. Yeah. He used to sound like a Nigerian guy. Yes, yes. And Bonsai used to sound like a little kid. Yes, and then geez. it was me. All of that. And, um, yeah. So, so, and there was also a friend of mine um, who became the uh, voice mm. for Big Brother, okay. Leslie. And uh, who else was there? Yeah, those are the guys, Jeez. you know. So, yeah. Do do you look at that moment with with a measure of regret, or you say, "Hell, man, I was a kid, and that's that." You know what? Now I've grown. Yeah. I can't. But I, there was I can't there a moment say, where you thought, "Damn it!" 
No, I thought because of of, of you know what? Ne? What I what I thought I was like I was gonna bounce back. Oh yes, yes. You know, I've yes, always had that. Yes, yes. Okay. So as it happened, you bounce back. This is gonna happen again. So it was a pattern, and yeah. this pattern now uh, started, <laughs> you know, manifesting itself in my head. That yeah, ah, ah, it's okay. another gig. I'll I'll get another one. And then guess what happens on the last week? I get a letter from Five FM. Anthony Duke, uh, who's like to me one of the greatest program Duke. managers I've ever sat down. He was down my with. mentor for years. Yeah. So yeah, I Anthony respect Anthony Duke, him. you know, sends a letter from Five. Uh, one of the ladies who's still at the SABC today, I think yeah. she's on the eighth floor, who used to be a PA or something at Metro. Um, probably his age. Who's his age? Yeah. She's hands, station manager for 2000 now. Hands me the letter. She hands me a letter that is on headline, on thing, on, on, letterhead. on a letterhead yes, yes. on the 5FM thing. Okay. Right on the last two days, 5FM writes me a letter. And what do they say? Do you want to come over? No. <laughs> Please stop spreading the rumor that you are joining 5FM. Oh, no. Was there a rumor like that? I think I must have created it. <laughs> I created I created most of the stuff. I think I must have lied at like, fuck Metro. <laughs> so, I'm, going. I'm going to 5. <laughs> oh, no. I get a letter and then I remember you must ask her. Yes. She hands me this letter. I see just 5FM oh, at the top. I'm like, yes, yeah. yes. Before even reading the letter. I in front the, of her. I got and the then job. I was like, yes! I got the job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I cried in front of her. Oh, no. Oh, no. She was like, I'm sorry, because she knew what was written in that letter. Yes, of course, before she handed it to you. Yeah. Hey, not. What a life. Yeah. What a life. So, what a character. That was it. That was that was that, that was the end of your me. that was the end of your relationship with SABC at that time. Yeah, because it came back again. Yeah, with Ukoz. Ukoz the FM. Yeah, but what what happened immediately after? Immediately after, I moved with my girlfriend oh, in the, Durban. The, the Swazi girl. No. Oh hell. She's pregnant. She's got my two kids. My first born. <laughs> my second born. <laughs> a born, and uh, lives at home now. Me and I, I've been living this life. And then I moved to Durban with this girlfriend of mine, who's a Miss Durban. Jeez. And, uh, and uh, did interesting the, Did times. the stardom uh, of Metro yeah. get to your head, even with regards to Um Wabantuan? Yeah, it did, actually, because yes. she was older than me. Ah, okay. She was older than me, so I started now experimenting Thinking. with younger ones. Yeah, I thought, no, uh, mama, no. Plus, this one was Miss Durban. <laughs> 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 We did, we did, we did this Miss Durban. Yeah. I can't and believe from there, it. from there, I move into her flat that is bought by her man. Yeah, hey, oh boy, what a mess. And the, 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 the guy that she was dating was the squad doctor. Jeez. So. Say, 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 Bafana Bafan. Say Bafana Bafan. People are going to Google this and ask, check Konjo Bobani at that time. You will Google it. <laughs> it's in the public domain. Yeah, I'm right. not saying any names. Yes. But anyway, so I'm moving to her townhouse yeah. in Musgrave in Durban, uh, unemployed. But I think I, I think the SABC gave me a salary for about three, for, for oh, about yes. three months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they gave me yeah. an allowance. Like, yeah. okay, yeah. we yeah. freezing we, you. We, we're tired of you, but, but go. three months, find your feet, so we're sick Yeah. So that's exactly what It wasn't what bad, yeah. Uh, wasn't well, bad. yeah. So I'm still living the life in yes. Durban. Yes. And partying still, acting like I, something is coming up. Everyone is, oh, you manja metro? Yes. Hey, manja metro? I'm dry like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's a boy and a boy. It's a boy and a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's during the era, Vele, Yabu, Yabu, uh, what's that, Devin Rocks, and hey. all of that. Hey. Yes, yes. So now, I, I, I go apply for a job. First job. You knock on the door, yeah. and then I tell the guy, the station manager, that hey, listen, I used to be at Metro. It was unfortunate that this happened. Which and, station uh, was this? That? Was East Coast Radio? Okay. Yeah, they yeah. were they were they were still in uh, Musgrave. Musgrave, yes. Yeah. So the station manager says, "Oh, oh sure. yeah, yeah, yeah." I Endless. saw you. I saw you where you know. So yes, he's having yes. these moments, yes. which is like, okay, yeah, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on air the same evening. <laughs> 
Wow. On air that same evening. Okay. Now stand in. Yeah. Like he yeah, wants to hear me enough. out. It's like he, he's like, you know what, just do your thing. Yeah. I've heard you before. I know you can do this. Yes. You know what? Uh one of my guys is not coming through. So come do uh, the show. Let, let, let's hear how you sound because now it's a you different know, Yeah, different station, different audience. Yeah. I rock the show. <laughs> Get the contract. Yes. Wear the pants. Yes. Don't ask me how long I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Chili, come uh, on. You're worse than Fat Joe, man. Like, literally. You're bruh, worse like, than Fat Joe. Literally. Uh, I don't even end up for more than six months. You out. Like, I'm out. Maru, what did you do there? Oh, Chili. Huh? I Where just, I never rocked up for a couple of shows. <laughs> and then I get a call like, hey, dude, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> like, eish, eish, eish. you were just a naughty kid. No, man. it's not being naughty; it's being irresponsible. I was yes. just plain irresponsible. You know, I'm not going to blame yeah, no, the nobody. kid in me, but yes, you know, yes. just plain simple. If I look at my life today, as much as I don't regret anything I did, it was just plain and pure, yeah. simple, uh, 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 a stupidity. You know, nothing yeah, else. Eh? That was it. That was it. Wow, six yeah. months East Coast. Six months, a lot of people gone. probably don't even remember that time. Yeah, nobody that you did. ever worked no, for East Coast. No. And then what? And then I was I was I was getting calls like, hey, yes, we know you. You you at Metro. You know, it's a different audience now because true. I'm now reinventing myself. Pretty much again. again. Yes. You, you know, to like, a white like East Coast <laughs> didn't sound like how East Coast sounds today. No, true. So the way, the it literally way, sounded yes. more high feldish back in the days. Back in the days. Because yeah. even high feld doesn't sound the way it used like, to. Exactly. Yes, yes. So it was more of an older audience yeah. and the few people that would I guess that's what bored me. <laughs> Like it's not cool enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like that's a, that's I, I, exactly how it felt. I think I, 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 two thousand would have bored you. I think so. Yeah, you would have yeah. said I. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I did ask for a job there once. Oh really? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. The but lady, that's not that was recently. when I was at two course. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess you were. You were yeah, I was in already the, in, the, the in the same yeah, space yeah, as yeah. well. You, oh, you yeah. still had the yellow card. Yes. Uh, I didn't. I, I I had the yellow card yes. because I was in Joburg. In, in, yes, yeah. So I was broadcasting. Okay, but to to to, to take you back after my East Coast days, yeah. then I break up with the girl, oh, and then hell. from Ms. there onwards, Miss Devin. Yeah, and then from there I come back. To Joburg, you unemployed. That, you realize that your radio story also has has a girl that's playing. You're like James, James Bond. Every James Bond movie has, hey, has the Bond girl. Bah, bah. Now I'm you have you know the chili the chili girl. Yeah. Wow. So now I come back to Joburg. Uh, hardly two weeks yes. being off air. The media is having a frenzy. Of course, he's a wall. <laughs> not rocking up for the show. It's blah gone, blah blah. Yes. I get a call from Bob Mabena. Okay. What was Bob doing at the time? At, Bob at SABC? Ben, no. Bob was was like managing Makana oh, Holdings. Oh, okay. Under yes. his, uh, under his uh, flagship mm. of stations that yeah. he was mentoring and monitoring. Yeah. He was like a, a strategic director uh-huh. for yes, P4 yes, Radio yes, before I remember. they changed. Yes, yes. So he gives me a call, says, listen, dude. I need you to be, you know, I need you to put your best foot forward. And yeah, uh, just be responsible. Like, dude, I, I'm going to put in a flight for you. Yeah. I need you to come through to Durban, <laughs> introduce you to the team. There's KG there, there's yes, me. I remember that time. So, yeah, and then back yeah. to Durban. <laughs> Chilliam arrives in Durban now as Uti. <laughs> Second time. <laughs> new name. <laughs> I don't want the Chili M name now. Anymore, yeah. Mm-hmm. New name, new personality. Absolutely. So I get to Durban. <laughs> uh, they book me a house in Musgrave on Essenwood Drive. Jeez. I'm staying there. And from there onwards, uh, I'm doing <laughs> the afternoon drive. Show. Mm, mm. So, and then from there, I call. Okay, and then MCZ loses his job at, uh, at, y. at y, yes. And then I, 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 I managed to tell KG to actually hire MCZ. Because uh, KG was what programs or she was our programs, programs manager. manager. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was our program manager. MCZ. MCZ lands, it stays with me in Musgrave. So, it was all nice and hunky dory. Yeah, and yeah. Then, Were you karma? 
Yeah. And then we'll come. And then I, 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 I graduate to the morning show. So yes. I've got Durban like on lockdown now. Jeez. Like I've got it down. I've yeah. got it down. Yeah. This is P4 yeah. Radio Durban. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> and I'm daddy. <laughs> so I go into studios, Nabutira, Sindos, creating tracks. All you know, this. life is good. Again. Life is I, I knew this was going to happen. So I, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I told you. Yes, I told you. I told you I'll be back. Who's in morning now? Yes. Who's in morning? <laughs> Who's doing the morning show? Wow. <laughs> now, I get into... I, okay, MCZ, I think, was doing after... Well, evening show. Yes, he's always been a specialist. Yeah. Yes. And then, uh, and then, and then, and then... Yeah, the unfortunate happened again. <laughs> I find M- uh, Mimi Casares, who's like the program manager... The music that he programs on my morning show oh, bores me to death. <laughs> I want to play my own I stuff. I have to ask this because there are people who are wondering. Yeah. After how long? Two, three years. Well, it's lasted long. Yeah. But well, when it was people, before they even changed to Kaka Yes, CFM. yes, yes. Yeah. You lasted quite a bit. Yeah, then. no, I did. I did. Yes. I did. I did. And the I music did. wasn't working. Mimi K basically was a club DJ. Yeah. Who was turned into a music manager by default. I remember Mimi K. Yeah, Mimi K. Sorry. And then we just never clicked. I mean, yeah. look, my resume is quite long. Just go check. If you, do you a favor, bro. <laughs> check who I am and <laughs> check who you are. <laughs> you were having one of those moments. Do you know who I am? Hey, yes. And, and I, I did. And the guy could not stand me. Wow. Complain after complain. He's not playing music from the playlist. He's, He's playing his own stuff. This. Yes. Me now. Uh, like before, like before was an adult contemporary. Absolutely yes. So let me me now. I sing for mix and for number two. Because in pitch zako. Then your like, boys like hello. <laughs> <laughs> And and I was fortunate to work with KG, who respected me a lot. Yes, yes. And she would allow me, you know, to be space, me, yeah, you know. Yeah. And 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 Nami, I think I overpushed the boundary. That's it. That's what know. you did. Yeah. I overpushed it, and I stepped on toes. You know, <laughs> uh, I would I would basically call Mimi K because there were red doors in the offices, in yes, our corridors. Yes. Yo, the guys from the Red Door. <laughs> Yo, the guys. From... So he eventually heard that I was calling him a guy from, from the, the Red, Red Door. Doors, yeah. Who's... And then he started really putting bad music on my oh, show. No. <laughs> I see. And then, then they started out. locking out the system. the system. So you can't influence the music. Like, and then I would jump out of the studio and get, dude... What the hell's and going it, on? You, you, you got me on automation and you know, I want to go on live assist. Yes, exactly. I want to do my own thing. Hey, so yeah. now he's locked the system. Oh, hell. How do I do morning when... It is, when you're on, locked. Ah, when... Don't so, and then I the, take my issues with my colleagues on air. Ay, yeah, yeah. The worst thing you can ever do. Absolutely. I take it on air and then I throw my toys out of the court. I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm Shut angry. Up. She and then from there, I get called. My banner's normal there now. Yeah, yeah, he's left. And then there's a yeah. lady who... It's probably my banner was at the SABC at the time. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. They call me for hearing. The lady who was uh, our HR manager mm. just said, we were sitting outside with her um, just before we got into the boardroom. She mm. says to me, no, don't, don't. You know, oh, she, wow. she was, uh, ah, she's mm. a typical Indian, Durban Indian lady. Yes. Pre yeah. is what uh, yeah. was her name. She's like, ah, don't worry, you know, I, I, we, you, we got this thing, you know, so I'm going to make sure you are fine. Just admit yeah. everything and say so. <laughs> we'll handle it. Oh, woman don't in the Just, place, just right? admit everything so and say you're sorry. And then I'm like, sorry. And then so we spoke. I, immediate dismissal. Wow. Because you admitted I everything. could not even say my goodbye. Nothing. Could not say my goodbye. And then I'm out of the door. Yeah. Back to Foslo at home. <laughs> again. <laughs> Back to Foslo again for Back the third, fourth, fifth time. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, I, I know. Back to, I, I, back I, I, like, I like how you have a, you know, quite a, a calm appreciation for your journey. And, you know, yeah. you, you remember it. None of it is, is ambiguous. None of it yeah. is complicated to you. You know, David, you must, you must remember I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm an older me from yes, that. Yes, that's I'm true. I'm a granddad now. Yes, wow. You know, listen to that. Yes, yes. And I enjoy just basic things in life right yeah. now. Like, things don't really... Like, I look at my kids and I look at the, the, the journey yeah. and I'm like a living testament. True. 
There's nothing that they don't see. Yes. There's nothing that they don't Google. They're adults. They can They've find got their it, yeah. kids. And yeah, it's a simple life. I live a very, it's very easy simple going, life. easy going, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I live a very simple life. Hence, that's why when I got here, I told you, I don't have gas. Yes, So yes. please, can you just settle my Uber, please? <laughs> no worries. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> and and thanks for that. But yeah. God, it's just the simple things in life that we, we learn to accept. To go to, okay, this has been the journey you have gone through. And live and be a testament of your journey True. so people don't make the Don't mistake. make the same mistakes, yeah. Absolutely. You got a gig at Ukozi. Yeah, and then after that, Zandi Letembe calls me to some and the, fancy the, the, hotel. There was a break. Uh, like a year break. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that was a year break. And that it can't be hard. easy, though. Uh, you know, when you've been uh, so high. Well, you know what? I was getting money from Samro royalty. Okay. So yes, that's when yes. the session thing started happening. Yes. Okay. You okay. know, Dead to Achivile. Yes, so I've got a couple songs, of tracks yes, that are keeping yes. me idling. Okay, okay. Then, but uh, it's bad, but not yes, that bad. Yes, yeah, yeah. You can live. Yeah. And Usenji, Nekaya. Nekaya, no pressure. Yes. It's people I grew up with, people True. that don't judge me. That's it, yeah. And uh, yeah. But um, I get a call from uh, Zandi Le. She flies me back to Durban. Yaktani Teguin. Then we in the secret hotel because they didn't want us to have a meeting okay. at, um, at, at the, the SABC. SABC. Yeah. And then it's a private session. They tell me, hey, these are, these are our intentions. This is what we want to do with you. We've got this show for you. How's your Zulu? Yes. Uh, can, 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 can we go into studio tomorrow yes, just to hear yeah. if your live reads are on point? Yes, yes. We're going to partner you with uh, Um Rosa. Okay. And then uh, let's just hear those links try and not speak too much english, english yeah, yeah sharp okay. okay i can do this okay yeah it's radio <laughs> like this is secondary this is like second nature to me true yes uh, and like, again yeah. it probably goes back to when you when first I, fell in love with radio absolutely yes. it was just going back it just brought back those memories. memories yeah my mom has never been this proud wow like full circle like imagine i've worked for all the best stations Yes. Now, this is the biggest thing that has ever happened in my life. <laughs> That's amazing. That is like my son works Expo for Uko ZFM. That's the dream. That is what she only just wanted. And then after that, she went through dementia. Jeez. She does not know any radio stations of Uko. The only thing she'll tell you good. We love ourselves yeah. That's all she remembers, and that's a beautiful thing about it. That's amazing. And just, just, just sharing that with her, and going through the moment, seeing her aging as well, yes, and that yes. was the proudest moment of her life, that's working for Kozi. And and then I ended up staying more than all the other, other radio stations. stations. Yeah. I stayed at Kozi for five years. Doing 12 to 3, yes, Nim yeah. Rosa, yeah. I was broadcasting from Joburg. She a, was fun, a fun, exciting, yeah. en high-energy radio show. Absolutely. And then and then now, there's the English that would always yes, creep, creep in. in. Oh, boy. The king calls yes. and starts complaining. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. So now I'm getting comfortable. I'm getting yeah. comfortable. Yeah. I'm getting comfortable. Yeah. I know my way around. I changed the station Logan from Ukozolma Pigo Pigo to yes. Kozolma Wing Wing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why more, Shandor? Yeah. And then I had a station manager. Because now the numbers are growing. Yes, bands. of course. Yes, bands. yes, The numbers yes. are growing. Yeah. And then when we go to a boss parade, it'd be like, uh, you see, the thing is, <laughs> I want you guys to first understand something. Yeah. We tried this with Uti Chase Boo. And it, it didn't it, work. It, it never worked. But yes. you see, the way Uchili M, uh. Akulu Manga Kona, oh, uh. sorry, Uti, <laughs> the way Akulu Manga Kona in English, Ngazuti Zul. Yeah. <laughs> DJs are sitting in the post post around, post around like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? <laughs> English can be Zulu. It's either English or it's Zulu. <laughs> so the guy's like, no, no, no. Uh, you must understand. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. English. English. <laughs> so and, they, were, they accommodated you. Okay. I, I, and I'm cranking back in English. The wing, old wing, wing, like, wing. Because, and then I had these kids that were all over, like these bunch of girls. Yes. Like I was like the U Hefner of the station. 
I would say, Cozy FM, Oluma, but you wing, wing, oh no. Changing the whole station oh, no. upside down oh, and no. flipping it. Oh no. Who calls you all of my big old people? I didn't even know that because I, I I did imaging. My, yeah. my, my company did it. Uh, I remember you did yes, imaging exactly. For, for course, yeah. but 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 that wing wing we, we didn't even know it. Yeah. Obviously, it wouldn't ah, have no, been a no, no, And I'm on Monday to Friday and Saturday evening, so hey, life is good. Jeez. And who calls on you a big, Saturday, man? on a Saturday, I'm pushing the biggest numbers. Jeez. In studio, it's a whole party. It's a party. It's always full. Like, my lights are dimmed. The girls are dancing in the studio. There's a pull up box <laughs> oh, here. Oh, no. Jeez. I was like, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. But like, Zandile would literally call me and say, but <laughs> the show is sounding good. <laughs> that's it. That's all that well, meant. Uh, let that's me all do me. <laughs> you want the best of radio? I'll give you the best. Just let me be me. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, yeah, that was my stay with Ukozi. And it was unfortunate that uh, I took uh, some cash from Did? guys, yes, yeah. um, which was payola. Oh, yeah. And yes, yes. Uh, these guys knew very well that, you know what, nah. Uh, they they were not even worth yeah. being playlisted. Yes, that music was just uh, I, 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 I really regret that time. Yeah. You know, because yeah. that's, that's when things started falling apart for me. Because they, obviously they found out and all of that. No, they never found out. Yeah. The guy decides, okay, here's what happens. Mm. This guy comes to me, he approaches me, he mm. wants me to give him an interview. And I don't know what had gone through because I was swimming purely yes. in marriage my yeah, life is on good point. everything is good you know everything is on and now Jeez. i take ten thousand oh and ten thousand is little my man you know i take ten thousand from these guys i give them an interview and then and then the sad thing mm. is that I, I out of this whole exercise yeah yeah there are a lot of people that basically knew what was happening. Mm, mm. I could have brought the whole station, station down. down. Yes, you yes, know, because yes. I was not doing this alone. Yeah, there were quite a number you of understand? people. understand? Yeah. Taking this money, it's not like it's just going to my pockets. Yeah. I must reshuttle it oh, yeah, somewhere else. Some, some hands, yes. And, 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 and it was just unfortunate that after that, the, the, the music committee within the station was yeah. like, this is not worth playlisting, dudes. We and the people this. were complaining. Because uh, okay, I would go crazy when I play their song. <laughs> and I'm playing from CD now. <laughs> Jeez. You were pushing I it like it was the day. best song ever. Like, literally, dude. And then now yeah. this guy doesn't hear his music. And then he's calling. I say, mind you, where am I sing? Where's I the song? I like I said, I said, I The bloody guy is recording the whole conversation. Just Without me knowing, I'm telling him on the other line, hey, dude, listen, I've done yeah. my bit, sing it right. Yeah, see, yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to start this, go start it elsewhere. I get a call from uh, the, the station manager in mm. Durban. Yeah, hey, yeah, dude, come to Durban. Here. Fly down now. Oh, shit. A tape was played. And you're, listening to, you're listening to your the voice. SABC. There's no way you're gonna say no. It's yeah, not yeah, you. yeah. Mm. So I've, Zandile, seen, I've seen someone Zandile, say Zandile that. said to me, like, look, look, just, just, there's yeah. no way. We, 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 it's we. you. So uh, it's just unfortunate. So uh, this, guy, this I, guy was clearly upset, and he went to the station. To he say, went to the station. Yeah, I gave this guy money, and he's hey. playing my music. But he also suffered the consequence Naturally. because he got now deplay listed. He could not Proper. enter the SABC yeah. because he was paying a DJ. So that is also fraudulent. Yeah. So now his music never even took off. Yeah, his that, career never even took yes. off. So 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 I wow. get to Durban. My contract is cancelled. To assign here, you know what? Yeah, de- sorry, de- man. There's nothing we can do. The nice thing was I that... I can't believe there's a nice thing. No, the nice thing yes. is that the people... That I was that are, that were also in there, which I won't mention. Yes, yes. You know, I thought, good. Let me take the bullet alone. Yeah. Why must the, Why must was other you, people? Yeah. Because I was caught with my pants down directly, and these guys yes, came to yes, Joburg, yes. where the envelope was handed in Joburg. Yeah. Now, mind you, me na segmele nyokula at the corridors and SABC and, and say the press and all of these. And then I had to just admit, and I did admit to the media wow. and to everyone. I was like, okay. yes, I did. Yeah. I was caught, and I've unfortunate. I'm sorry. Can we move on? <laughs> well, Kendrick gets cancelled. Damn, man. 
you have an amazing life, boss. Yeah, cancel it. They canceled it again. So, Ish. yeah, that's and after exactly an amazing right. run, eh? Yeah, no, that that was like that, of course, I was on super drive there. I was on super mode when I David. You know, I, I was really, I was on. You know, when they say a flight is on autopilot, mm. I was on autopilot at the time. Yeah. Everything was just smooth. I was married, and you, living, you know, I, you were living in Joburg, I was living working in, for a big station. I was living in a golf estate with a wife who yeah. works for SAA, who's a director there. Wow, like. Why did I have to do that? Hey, not like a stupid little mistake like that would actually what, turn things around. What answer do you give yourself when you ask that question? Why did I do this? What what comes to mind? You know, papa, what is it? No, it's not a papa. It, it, it's 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 a, it's a it's a paper it's a paper trail of things that have happened in your life that you've taken for granted and mm. karma also kicks in that's uh, it yeah you know yeah. and it plays its its funny self out in your life god has got the power to show you who is god and you can you can pull a quick one on everyone yeah but, but there will come yeah. a time where you have to where it's a no go yeah. so god took everything away from me because i was a self i was on self destruction mode true so true. when when god behaves in that way yes. and and i'm i'm sorry if you've got people that are, no, are, are no, atheists no. Don't but worry. i happen to be very very religious, religious right yeah. now and i'm more closer to myself and i understand what 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 the meaning of life is mm. god will take away something from you that makes because i could have died Yes. I yeah. could have been dead based on the drug use, the alcohol yeah. abuse, yeah. everything, rehab after rehab, rehab. Yes. So I was on self-destruction mode. Yeah. So yeah. God said, you know what? I'm going to give you life. Yeah. Take away all Take the... Take everything away and, and I will give you life. Yeah. And today I thank God for that. Yeah. Because I'm more closer to myself. I understand myself. I understand my weaknesses, which are still there. You True, know, you're only human. And and, you know? and 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 but it's work in progress. Yeah, we all are. We yeah. all are. Yeah, it's work and in it's, progress. And it's better if you know that you're you're work in progress. Cause, yeah. Because most of us are not even conscious of the yeah. fact that we are work in progress. Yeah. So now I get fired on Ukozi, and then uh, I get a call from DJ Spoo. Yes. He wants me to join um, yeah, yeah, Massive, Massive Metro, Metro yes. at Massive Media and Rosebank. And then I joined the station with Nick Regisford as yes, well as yes. uh, at the helm of the station. And thank God for that. Because uh, it really changed my life and my perspective. But uh, I started off as a super sub. Yes. And then from there, I started doing the um, the uh, morning show. Okay. Yeah. And there, uh, I, 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 I didn't get fired. Yes. I fired the station for <laughs> once in my life. Wow. What happened there? I quit. You were not happy. No, yeah. uh, I, I, like literally, yeah. like I'm a I'm a guy who's like I need to be heard. I want people to catch. It. I was tired of saying to people that so so so, so good munch, mm. and I'm like I'm so mad without putting massive. Yes, <laughs> like, I'm at massive metro. I'm at I'm at I'm at massive metro. <laughs> If you didn't get it, well, that's not yeah, my that's business. It. Wow. So I joined the station, and then I got bored because I can't prove how much listeners I have. Yeah, that's you know, yeah. Because it's, 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 it's and, yeah, you know, it's a tricky ah, one. Ah, you know what? I'm Let out. me just focus on other things in life. Fortunately, at home we've got a farm. And that's very recently, though. That's eh? recent. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, at home we have a farm in um, Pumalanga yes. where you know sometimes I just drive a tractor and I just and recap and you're I'm, fine. Life is fine. I must tell you though, uh, I I wish you another radio show. Yeah. I wish me another radio yeah. show. Yeah. I wish me another radio show. I wish me. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish me. Um, uh, 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 a different me when mm. it comes to audience. True. You know, when they teach us radio, they say you must always respect your audience. Mm-hmm. Mm, they come so not, first. You know, I sat down with Daniel the other day. What's he? How cool is Vugan? Oh. Because we've got bills to pay. Oh. It's not all about ratings. I know you're crazy about true, ratings. True, true. We have errands, we've got kids, we've yeah. got bills. Yeah. And this thing of yours, always trying to push and find out, Mina, I'm like that aggressive. Yes. Like, I, I want numbers now. I yeah. want results. Yes. You know, I'm that type of yeah. guy. So I've just realized something. Woody, you know what? As much as yeah. it's numbers... It's not it, really it, about... You still have to have a job. And, you and still, still need a job. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, and you and need to be calm to keep your job. Absolutely. Yeah. And sober. 
True, you know, yes, hey, yes. And respect colleagues and respect yeah. life. And sometimes if the, you don't agree, you accept it hey, and you move so, on. So so that's what I wish myself now. Yeah. You know, uh, the type of radio that I would be doing now is totally different to the radio. That I, 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 I wish me and, mm. and I wish to God one day yeah. that, that God grants me that opportunity to True. change the things that I cannot change. Yeah. And just to yeah. afford me that opportunity to, say, to actually, you know what? Yes, your last stint. True. Here Because it is. Uh, I'm old now, David. Yeah. You know, yeah. I miss this space. I can only imagine. I man. miss this space. I can only imagine. I'm yeah. sorry, man. No, that's cool. <laughs> I really do miss this space. I can only imagine, mm. Chile, eh? Yeah. Because it's a... Uh, I can't imagine you doing anything else, my man. Yeah. I truly, truly can't imagine you doing anything else. Yeah. I never went to school. I never went to varsity. Radio is the only thing I That have. you do. I wish you a radio show, my man. Thank you, sir. And I wish you a radio show very, very soon. Thank you, sir. Because the, your passion and your love for it. I've seen Chile. Chile motivates all of us. When, mm. when you work with Chile, you feel like you're not doing enough. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's, I, that's why I say I remember that Chile M at Metro. Yeah. That would push Neo Mojaji, the producer, the, the engineer, to work 10 times harder. Mm. And some of us, I have this business because of Neo Mojaji. Yeah. Neo Mojaji taught me sound engineering. Yeah. And that's why I say to you, I wish you... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Thank you, my leader. Yeah. You're an amazing man. Sharp. And I like your honesty about your story, you know. You mm. face it for what it is. Can't change it. You can't, eh? Can't, I can't rewrite the book. It's been written. Yeah. I can just reshape the future of other people that are also coming up. Whoever cares to listen, you know, there's, there's times where I have people like this the guy that's sitting up he's on massive metro oh really yes. mentored by myself wow. just people that are willing to come to my home to say okay yes. this, yes. this is what a clock is this is what a link is and it just fulfills me that wow <laughs> we wait for you to be on radio again chili is there a station that you think about lately you know i i, I, I don't I, i can't i can't knock on station managers doors anymore yeah yeah I'm just a call away, you know. That's true. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's like that bad. Like, even yes, if I yes. did call a station, man, it'd be like, hey, for Nero Chile. Oh, hi, Chile. It'll be a, a big you deal know, for like, them. Oh, yeah. oh, Chile just called me, guys. <laughs> yeah, they would tell people about the call, I guess. Yeah. I, I'd rather have someone who invites me into their space rather say, than me try to try and impose onto other people. I mean, I can, I can even take... A graveyard slot. True, yeah. Point. You've proven to yourself that uh, all you need is to step in. Then then the rest, just uh, the story tells itself. Yeah. You just need to get a microphone and that's it. That's it. Oh, chill. I wish you well, my man. Thank you, sir. I think in my, in my world, you, you're one of the greats. You're one of the most passionate. If anything, and I have to say this very honestly, and I'm not buying your face, mm -hmm. you're the one guy who obsesses more about numbers than anybody I know. Mm -hmm. You obsess more about numbers than program managers and station managers. Yeah. And nobody else does that. No. You can ask radio presenters now to tell you their numbers, they don't know them. Mm. And you knew your numbers probably the day you left to go. Yeah. That's why you couldn't be at Massive Metro because you didn't know your numbers. Exactly. Wow. Thank you, my man. Thanks for hosting me, David. Thanks, yeah. thanks for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a, I'm documenting the history of South African radio one presenter at a time. Yeah. I couldn't have done this thing without featuring you. Thank you. Yeah, because I've, I've seen your work and I've heard your work. And I'm glad you, you listened to my show. Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> yes. I do. I listen to everyone. You, you walked in and told me of a link I did a day or two before. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that puts a smile on my face. Yeah. Or it makes me think, geez, I wonder what he thinks. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because you're an incredible you, you, critic. <laughs> you, 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 you're amazing, Dave. And your humbleness really just it shows you yeah. know, the space you're in, the people that... Are, are, are your support structure and yeah. the families that you support and True. families that you feed. We need to leave a mark. That's why you're where to. you are. Yeah. Thank Chile you, M. sir. Yeah, M. Oh, daddy, Chili M. Yeah. Uh, you know, which name do you prefer now? The father. <laughs> the father. <laughs>
<laughs> That's it. <laughs> the father. Well, look out for Chili M on your on your radio station very soon. Yeah. It might be sooner than you think. Maybe you should start a radio station. I know that power is opening stuff all over the country. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Mm. And Bob has always loved your work. Yeah. So I know he's responsible for all of that. And that's why I say I wish you a show and I wish you a show that you'll enjoy. I know you're 10 times more responsible than you've ever been. Yeah. And that's our story today. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks to you and thanks to your team as well for having me. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. That's chilling.